Hello, my dear class. It has been a while, hasn't it? Welcome back to class number nine in this series. Um, in this one, we're going to be adding the comments on the single post page and allowing users to post them and delete them and all that good jazz. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, let's go to our code, code base. So here in the uh, single post, component, I'm going to scroll down uh, actually here where this card ends, still inside of the column. We're going to do, the way we're going uh, we're gonna to display them is, I could put them in a, a component of their own, but I don't see any need in an application this small. Uh, so we already have comments out of this um, thing, like uh, destructured from get post, which by the way is the reason why we have a warning here, because we're not using comments but we're going to use them now. So here underneath the card, we're going to open an expression, say comments, whoops, not comment count, comments dot map. And for each comment, we're going to, whoops, not like that. Yeah, like that actually, confuse myself. <laughs> for each comment, we're going to return the following. Uh, so the comment is going to be a card of its own. And yes, we can nest cards. So let's give it the property of fluid. So it takes all the width. And here we'll give it a key of comment.id, which is unique. So inside of the card, we're going to have a card content. So card.content. And inside of here, we're going to have the header. So card.header. And this will be the username of the, of the person that commented. So comment.username, like that. And underneath here, we'll have the meta card dot meta, which is when it was posted. So here we'll use moments to format it. I think we have moments. Yeah, we have moments because we formatted the date of the post itself. So here we'll say moment, oops, moment, uh, moment with one M in the middle. And here we'll pass comment dot created at, and we'll say dot from now like that. And here we'll have the card description, kind of similar to the, actually almost the same as the actual uh, post, but this is, these are comments. So here we'll say comment.body. All right, let's save. Uh, let's make sure there's no errors. There shouldn't be any errors. Cool, that warning for comments is gone. And if we switch to our app, okay, this one has no comments. We can go to this one, has three comments. And there we go, we get comments and, uh, yeah, I agree with this comment. <laughs> okay, so let's make it so that um, our comments we can delete. And by the way, I need to log in here. So I'll say user and the password is one through six. So let's go back to that one. So where is it? This one. So here, uh, since I'm the user, I want to be able to delete this uh, comment. So let's go back to code and um, I'm going to add the button right here inside of the content. So here we'll say if user, because we already have user from the context, uh, we'll say as well, and user dot username um, equals the comment dot username, which means I am or whoever this user is, is the owner of this comment. So we'll say and, and we'll render the following. And we're actually just gonna render the delete button and uh, we'll pass it the post ID and which is the ID and we'll pass it the comment ID and uh, I'll explain in a second, which is comment.id. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go to the delete button component. So let's go to the delete button. And here we're going to make it so that this can delete a post and it can delete a comment as well. And the way we're going to do this, we're going to make this mutation right here dynamic. Let's go down here. Let's write the delete um, comment mutation. So I'll say const delete, oops, delete. Yep, that's spelled correctly. Comment mutation. This will be GQL, open template string. And inside of here, we'll say mutation, uh, delete, oops, delete comment. And we'll pass it the post ID which is of type ID, 
and it's required. And here I need to put a uh, dollar sign. And here we'll say dollar sign comment ID. And this will be an ID as well. And that's required. And here we'll say delete comment. And we'll pass the post ID, which is going to be the dollar sign post ID. And the comment ID, which is going to be the dollar sign comment. Whoops, ID. And we'll get the ID, we'll get the comments, and we'll get the from the comments, we'll get the ID, the username, the created at, um, and the body, of course. And here we'll say we need to get the comment count. And yeah, that's fine, we can save. Let's go up here. Now here, what we're gonna do is instead of just saying delete post mutation here, we're gonna put another variable. We'll just call it mutation like this. And this will be dynamic. So we'll say const mutation equals. And uh, here uh, here where we destructure post ID, let's as well destructure, um, destructure, str I can't talk guys, sorry. <laughs> so we'll destructure uh, comment ID. And here what we need to say is comment ID, uh, we'll do a turner operator. So if we want to delete, um, if we want to put this button to delete a post, we're just gonna give it a post ID and a callback, or maybe not a callback. And if we wanna delete a comment, we're gonna give both of them. So if we have a comment ID, that means this button is a, on a comment and not on a post. So we want the uh, delete, actually no, we want the delete um, comment mutation here, if we do have a comment ID, else that means this button is on a post, so we want to use this mutation, the delete post mutation. Now here we can change the function name, uh, we don't have to, but it's better if we do, and I'll call this delete post or mutation, because it can be either. And uh, we'll do the same, we'll say use mutation, or we'll pass this mutation, whichever one it is, and um, one thing we need to change, by the way, here is let's wrap all of this, let's cut this, and we'll say if not comment ID, do all of that. Whoops, uh, paste. Because if we're deleting a comment, we don't want to do this because um, it automatically removes the comment and we don't want to remove any post from our get posts. But if we do delete a post, then we will not have a comment ID, then this will execute and everything will run just fine. And here in var variables, we need to also pass the comment ID. And by the way, this is not a problem if we're calling the delete post um, meth uh, mutation, this will just be ignored in that one. And it will be null anyway. So here, uh, I think here everything is fine, except here we need to change delete post or mutation right, right there. And let's save this. Let's go back to our single post, save that. And uh, let's look at our app. So there we go, we get a button, and if we click it, and we say okay, there we go, it deletes the, the comment, and with hopefully no errors, yes, no errors, cool. Alright, let's add a input here, so that if we're logged in, we are able to post uh, comments to this post. Alright, let's go here, actually right here, just above the comments, we're gonna say, we're gonna open an expression and say, if user because we want to be able, um, we only show the comment input if we're logged in. So if we use, uh, if, if user render the following, and we'll have a card as well here, it's going to be fluid. And before we do any of this, let's create the uh, uh, create comment mutation. So let's go down here, let's say const, let's call it, um, or submit, makes more sense. Uh, it doesn't matter this name, but so, uh, submit comment mutation equals GQL and here we'll say whoops we'll say mutation and it will take two things the post ID uh, which is an ID and that's required and actually here dollar sign and here we'll take the body and that's a string and that's required all right inside of here we'll say create comment and we will pass a post ID, which is gonna be dollar sign post ID. And here we'll pass a body, which is gonna be dollar sign, oops, dollar sign body. 
and we're gonna get back uh, a post so here we'll get the ID because we need to get the ID so that um, Apollo knows which post to update and we need to get the comments because that's what's been updated in this object and we want to get ID body created at and username all right inside of here we'll say comment count because that updates as well so we need to get it back and update it and yeah that's fine let's go way up here underneath here we'll say const and we'll this de uh, array destructor destructor <laughs> submit comment from use mutation and we got used mutation no we don't let's get that use mutation from react apollo hooks and here we'll say mutation and uh, we'll pass the submit comment mutation and uh, we're gonna have a an object here we're gonna have an update function uh, or just a regular function an arrow and here we'll uh, what we need to do is well actually we need to as well create a, a comment state variable so we'll say a const and I'll have a comment. Do we have use state? Actually, we need use state. Use state. And here we'll have a set comment. Whoops. Equals use state. And the original state of the comment is just an empty string. All right. So we want, once we submit the comment, we want to empty the, um, the input. So here we'll say set comment back to an empty string. And we need to pass the variables for this mutation. So variables is uh, this object with the post ID, which is just this post ID. So we'll leave that like that. And with the body of um, comment, this one right here. Uh, there's something wrong here. I put double colon. All right, that's fine. So everything's fine here. We just go back to our markup here and we actually add, oops, where is it? All right, right here. Oh yeah, right here, it closed itself. That's why it confused me. All right, so here we'll close the card. And here we'll have a form. Or actually before we need to, to have like a sort of paragraph that says post a comment. And here we'll have a form. Uh, do we have form? Yeah, we don't. So here we'll say form. And let's go back down here inside the form we'll have an input um, thing is I want to use form input but there's a problem which I'll uh, I'll explain later why I'm using just the regular material um, sorry not material UI a semantic UI um, CSS I'll explain later so here we'll just say div with a class of uh, UI action input whoops input and fluid, which is kind of like the uh, equivalent of using um, field input or input, or rather form input. So here we'll have a traditional HTML input, and here we'll have a type of text and a place, oops, place holder, and we'll say comment dot dot, we have a name. Here we'll say just comment like that. We'll have a value, which will be the state variable comment. We'll have an on change. Oops, on change. We can just inline it here. We'll say event. We'll take an event, uh, the event, and we'll uh, say set comment to event dot target dot value, like that. All right, uh, let's close this input. And here we need a submit button. So we'll say button, type submit. And uh, here we'll have a class name of uh, UI button and uh, teal for the color teal. And here we'll say disabled if the comment uh, if there's no comment, there's no um, nothing written in the input field, I want this button to be dis uh, disabled, to not have to deal with um, validation. So if comment.trim equals an empty string, then this button will be disabled. Otherwise, it will be enabled and it will be clickable. And if, if it's clicked, we'll say, so we'll say on click, submit 
comment. All right, here we'll say submit. All right, that's gonna that should work fine. It should trigger the submit comment, and that will send a submit comment mutation with the variable comment which has changed because we typed stuff. All right, let's save this and uh, let's make sure there's no errors. There isn't. Sweet. Let's go back here, and uh, oh, that looks weird. Let me make sure. Got everything right. Oh yeah, because everything inside of a card needs to be in a card content. So let's cut everything and say card dot content. It gives it that padding, amongst other things. Let's paste everything back. Save. Let's go back to our app. There we go. That looks much better. Now, if I write something, now this is uh, clickable, and if I pr press enter, <laughs> nothing happens. All right, let's uh, inspect. Ooh, so many errors. Uh, error code 400. Response not successful. Let's check out what happened with the actual mutation. So let's go to Apollo, mutations, and we get this mutation. The body is okay, and the post ID is correct. Um, okay, let's try to run this mutation. Strange. Post ID, okay, post ID, variable post ID is used, expecting type string, really? Uh, let's go to our GraphQL, type definitions, create comment, oh, I made a mistake, here, post ID, instead of putting that I'm expecting an ID, I put I'm expecting a string, well, I'm not going to change it here, because for those of you that are just doing the React bit, you'll be maybe confused or something, I'm just going to go to the... Um, this is just a patch, by the way. If in an actual app, I'm not gonna do this uh, fix like this. I'm just gonna change this. Actually, not uh, delete. It's the create comment or submit comment. Here, I'm just gonna take uh, change the type to string. All right, that work. I mean, that runs. And let's go here. If I type some some random comment and I click enter there we go it's uh, it's submitted and I get it here and I can delete it and I can delete it and if I keep typing comments it keeps adding them without any problem and we have no errors sweet all right so there's one little problem that bothers me is that once we type something and we click enter this gets emptied but this field is still um, active like kind of um, I can still type stuff I don't want it to do that I want it to be kind of go back to this state blurred all right so and this uh, and here I can explain why I did this approach where I just used an input because now I can give it a reference so we'll say ref equals say comment input ref because I can't give a reference to the form input um, component of uh, semantic UI react because that's actually a, a react functional component all right so let's actually create this uh, reference let's copy that let's go to the top and right here underneath user we'll say const comment input ref equals use ref and initially you will just pass it the value of null and we need to get use ref so here we'll say use ref from react and right here we're just gonna say actually not here in the submit comment after we set the comment to an empty comment we're just gonna say um, the reference to that input dot current dot blur like this call it like a function like that and that's gonna blur the input once we submit whoops once we submit that so right here uh, yeah, here I'll type a comment and I'll submit it and there we go. It becomes the Like out of focus like blurred if I do that again, it blurs out the comment um, Comment input sweet. I think that's it for this video Yeah, let me check Yeah, that's it <laughs> All right, sorry guys by the way if I'm like kind of I sound less energetic and excited about stuff I am excited, but I'm really really tired. So um, yeah, my voice is really kind of going down the hill. <laughs> All right. Anyway, thank you for watching. And of course, again, as per usual, uh, subscribe and like and comment and all that good jazz. Uh, thanks for watching. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.